Start your engine. Welcome back to Aim Small. I'm Gert as usual, the only presenter on this uh, channel. And yes, I'm a little bit disappointed in YouTube. I've been battling now to get some of my videos uploaded for you for more than three weeks. And some, I'm not allowed to say that, but I'm going to. Some. I don't want to go into that. Let's get into the, the fun part. Right, I finally got hold of this. Zan slugs in South Africa. Yes, there is now an import into South Africa. And I want to say thank you to the guys at um, SAA Rifles. Um, AirRiflesSA.com. I'll put the link down below where you can get hold of these slugs. Um, looking at the price, they are very well priced as well. So they're not overcharging you in the process. And I've heard so many good things about the Zan slugs up to now. So for me, this is an absolute pleasure to be able to test these things. Give you guys my honest opinion. And as you'll see, as in all of my videos, I don't give you 15 groupings and choose the best one. I give it as is. All right, so it might be slightly unfair every now and then to a manufacturer that you have to fine tune your slugs. Pity. That's how it works. All right, so first and foremost, I'm very interested to see how the packaging held up through all the airplanes and all the different things all the way to South Africa. So they do come in a very, very nice little package. And as you can see, they jumped a little bit around nothing too serious the slugs in general look in awesome condition but i can't see any defaults out of this i will weigh it up a little bit later and give you guys the results on that these are the hollow base what are these oh, it looks like a, a cup base in the back very nice deep cavity hollow point so this tells me one thing it's gonna splatter the bugs out there all right so, what I'm going to do today, straightforward as I usually do, I'm going to shoot them on six different speed settings from one to maximum. And today, I'm going to shoot with my Canon again. It's the first time that this FX is back with me. And I had a 72cc plenum installed. Yes, so I've got the bigger plenum in there. Up the power quite considerably just with the plenum in there. It already has the pin prop and all the niceties in there. From an uh, economy perspective, it is sweet at the moment. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of sighters and then I'm going to start off with the 25.5 grain Zan projectiles in 0.218. The others that I have to test are the slightly heavier 30.5s. Now, my gun, with the amount of power that it puts up, I think is going to love these. All right, so as you see today, this is not a promotional video. I'm not paid by anybody to do this. This is the truth, the honest truth, and nothing but the truth. Enjoy it with me. Before I start shooting, let's quickly just explain the gun setup today. So this is a FX Impact Mark 1. Yes, you heard me right, Mark 1. But it is as close as you can get to a Mark 3 without having a dual uh, regulator system. It has got the power kit on you. Um, it's got the heavier hammer in. It's not the tungsten hammer, not the tungsten hammer, normal hammer in here, pin probe, everything that you can possibly think. And it now sports the 720 cc plenum ha like a man this is going to be awesome and fun all right so without any further ado let's get into the shooting part of this camera setup cronia setup i am set up let's do this starting off on power setting one yeah do i need to do anything further at 865 feet per second, first impression of the zone is, wow, that is super accurate. All right, let's up the power, let's have some fun. That is pretty impressive. All right, so there was no harmonic tuning done on this gun. This is straight, straight out of the tin. 970 odd feet per second that's on power setting three uh, i'm going to push these guys quite hard it's a 25.5 grainers they are going to get pushed extremely hard on the next few power settings but let's have a look and see what happens 21 36 
Seven. Jeez, that's at 1,040 feet per second. Still a great grouping. Let's go for maximum power. Close your ears. This is going to rock the world a bit. One thousand nine. Ah, why is my speed dropping? Village idiot. Last one came off the rig. So I'll have to reshoot that last grouping. Fill up the gun quickly, give you guys the maximum power shooting again, and shoot it again. Not a problem. Watch this space. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, new target up front. Gun has been recharged. I'm just going to shoot three for the regulator and everything to settle in after the fill. And then I'm going to shoot the final target quickly. 51. Alright, let's 1, do this. Maximum speed. Oh, that last one could have been me. But guys, my regulator is set at 135 bar. 135, you heard it correct. I'm not shooting like the YouTubers on 170 and 180 bar. 135 bar. So this gun is not working extremely hard. I'm able to send these 25 and a half grain Zan slugs with extreme accuracy at 1050 feet per second downrange. If I quickly look at that, um, awesome grouping right through the whole range. It's interesting, the, the front part of the Zanslux actually looks a lot like the old Javelin, the Gen 1 Javelins, and the back looks almost like the JSB Knockouts. So I don't know if these guys try to take the best of both worlds and put that together. All, I'm, all I know is from a slug perspective, that's probably the best grouping I've seen in a long, long while. Let's go and measure that up and have a close-up at the results of the 25.5 grainers. From the word go, the Zan slugs absolutely loved this FX Superior Heavy Liner barrel. From 854 feet per second all the way up to 1055, spot on, spot on, spot on. I can't say enough except wow. Alright, that's the 25 grainers. Love affairs getting to the red hot chili stage. Let's see what the 30.5 grainers can do. Right, so unboxing the 30.5 grains, I spotted one thing immediately. In the 25.5 grains, they had this little carton within the packaging, and that will prevent a lot of slugs getting damaged, specifically if you use our local post office and services and courier services. The 30 grainers, on the other hand, missed this little carton inside, so it was just the normal packaging. Out of that, I could immediately spot that not all the, the, the flanges, the skirts, the backgrounds in the back was 100% correct. But if I'm saying that, I'm nitpicking, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really nitpicking. They are 100% acceptable to shoot. But it's notable, noticeable that one or two of them's got a slight little bend in the back. Now, this might affect accuracy. Um, what I've seen is that usually the, the air without in the rifle just pushes these little flanges in the back open. I hope this won't affect accuracy. But that's something to the manufacturer at Zahn. Guys, these little cartons, they're not expensive, but they help a heck of a lot in the packaging to make sure that your slugs doesn't get damaged while shipping them overseas. All right, without any further ado or chit chat, let's get into the 30.5 grainers. Alright, so the first thing I noticed between the 25 and the 30 grain is there was a definite point of impact shift slightly to the right. I've readjusted after my sighters. Let's see what happens if I shoot them from a slow speed all the way up to the maximum. 833. Yes. I can't believe this. Even the 30 grain is running at 830 feet per second. That's immaculate grouping. 865. Right, the first two shots there were running a little bit slow, as if the hammer didn't adjust completely for the for the new power. The last three, the speed was spot on, and the grouping was spot on. Let's see what happens on power setting three. 926. I can't shoot much better than that. Right, I quickly had to refill. Um, unfortunately, my dive cylinder only goes up to 190 bar, so I can only shoot from 190 bar down to 135 bar where the regulator is, blah, blah, blah. But now, all filled up, ready to go, power setting four. 900. I just obliterated 
the ball. Ha! Nine hundred seventy. Jeez. I'm falling in love with these slugs. Nine hundred sixty-seven. Enough said. Let's go and measure up. Give you guys the final verdict, and let's wrap up. I think it must be quite scary for a manufacturer to send anything to me. And that's usually why they don't. I have to get it from a supplier because I'm going to be brutally honest. But in this scenario, let the slugs speak for themselves. Look at that grouping all the way from the slower speed at 825 feet per second to a max of 978 feet per second. The grouping speaks for itself. I can't wait to take them out to 50 and to 100 meters. Watch this space. These slugs are available at SA Air Rifles in Bloemfontein. Give Ian a call, he'll be more than able to help you with a packet. Alright, um, after measuring, after looking at the results, for me this is a no-brainer. Um, definitely, so I need to get hold of more of these slugs. I would love to test the other different batches. The one thing I notice is the 30 grainers barely fits into the old style Mark 1 magazines. They will easily, easily fit into uh, the bigger ones and you can also go slightly up on the grainage on the new style FX magazines. But from an initial perspective at my 30 meter indoor range, can't fault them. Would be really interesting to see what they, if they stretch their legs up to 50 and 100 meters to see what they do there and also what they do in the wind. I think that will be the final test to see can these slugs hold up in the wind. From a hunting perspective, man, these things are accurate and across all the speeds so I can actually detune my gun a little bit for if shot count is an issue or if I really want to go for those long long range shots I can up the speed and make sure that my trajectory is a lot flat in that regard from my side thank you again to the team at um, Air Rifles SA in Bloemfontein the link is down below go and have a look at them I think these slugs are well priced and as you can see out of the results might be worth testing a couple of them have a lucky day, unless you decide otherwise. That's all, folks.